Back at the Mustang Classic, recapping Amherst's 22 10 victory over Bates with Bates head coach Peter Lasagna. And for your team right now, I imagine it's it's trying to find a way to put 60 minutes of lacrosse together because again today flashes good start you get the start you're looking for but right now what is keeping you guys from 60 minutes of lacrosse yes if i knew the answer to that question uh the score might not have been what it was but you're spot on and and you anticipated exactly what i just said to my team you know we are capable of what you just saw but we are young and so when a couple things don't go our way, it tends to snowball a little bit. Um, I thought we had some self-inflicted wounds in some really, really important times. Uh, Amherst plays that two-man game really, really well. Sure. Uh, I think they got, again, without looking at the tape, um, they had a number, it seems like they had three or four in a row at the time that they started to separate from us, which were similar plays. Um, either two-man plays that we just didn't cover very well, didn't communicate getting through the picks, or quick whistle when the whistle transition goals um, and those are just things that we continue to need to, to work on um, and then it becomes a possession thing as well I look at the clearing numbers um, you know we just didn't clear the ball as well as we need to and as well as we expect to in the first half um, which again allowed them to separate I was gonna say that that second quarter where turnovers and losing face-offs on top of it you just give a good team extra chances and that that's really where it started to get away from you is that where you have to employ your team that those silly mistakes the passing and catching errors are the things that you have to avoid no that's 100 percent right and uh and again um that's not scheme uh <laughs> that is just those are just things that you know college lacrosse players that that play at this level you know, you, you just really need to minimize those errors. I, I think we walked off sides uh, for the third game in a row. Um, again, I appreciate that you're trying really hard, <laughs> but you need to try really hard without running over the line. <laughs> uh, for you guys offensively in the first half, when you did have the ball, there was an efficiency to what you were doing. You got shots. You got looks that you were looking for, uh, guys inside. Just – well, thoughts on why you were so efficient there when you did at least have the ball and how much that's a little bit of a building block going forward? Yeah, no, you're 100% right, and, and we've done that in some other quarters. Uh, I thought we had them, I thought we were pretty well prepared um, for what we have seen on tape. And so, you know, initiate, draw some attention from a second man, bang the ball twice really, really hard, and then reattack and cut inside. And we did that, and like you said, I mean, we might have been four for our first five or something like that on offense. Um, but then again, against a good team like Amherst, uh, you can't have a drought of, you know, a quarter and a half or two quarters or whatever we have where, where we don't get a goal. Um, and that's on me, I'm the offensive coordinator, so uh, I gotta find some ways out of that. But like you said, a lot of those things were, we continue to get some good looks, but then we turn it over or we wouldn't finish. Uh, finally, the Mustang Classic itself to come down here to get two games in one trip. We know how valuable uh, that can be. Obviously, great competition, but as you try to raise the expectation level for your program, thoughts on what coming to an event like this does for you? Yeah, no, I, I, think, it's, I think it's really, it's everything. I mean, it's, it's a beautiful day. Um, as people like to say, there's Memorial Day weekend and there's the Mustang Classic. And, and that's really what it feels like. I mean, it feels like that level event. Um, Stevenson does an unbelievable job running it, really take care of, of, of all the participants. Um, and again, where we strive to be is alive late in the year. And if you're alive late in the year, you got to play back-to-back -back games against really, really good teams. So I can't imagine, I mean, you know, do I, do I love being uh, Ofer? No, I do not love being Ofer. But in terms of getting a young team to grow up as quickly as possible, coming down and playing Amherst today and York tomorrow, uh, I can't imagine what's going to make us grow up faster than that. Coach, appreciate the time. Best of luck. Thank you so much. You got it. Bates coach Peter Lasagna joining us here at the Mustang Classic.